All right. Trust me, it is not easy to speak to a camera in an empty room. Uh, if you know you have the feeling I'm there with you right now and there's a bit of life in what I'm saying, it is really hard because I'm alone in a room talking to a camera. But anyway, reviews. Um, I think I found a way to really explain the importance of what we're doing here through reviews. So let's say you've been working for a few years uh, on the booking platforms and you acquired uh, a thousand reviews and they are like, 4.9 out of 5 or 9.5 out of 10, you know, incredible results um, which don't come for free. You've been working really hard. You really invested on, on the customer experience. Sometimes you gave customers what they didn't deserve. Sometimes, often, I guess, you had to smile even if, you know, they didn't deserve that smile or they deserved like something else. So your reviews are really important. When you've been working um, on your business, you are a host, you are a property manager, it doesn't matter if you have one or a hundred apartments. You, you've been working for two things, basically. One thing is earning the money and, you know, go ahead with your business. And the other thing is been building something of value, a business, right? And most of the value in this business is validated by your reviews. If I take away your reviews tomorrow morning, yeah, you still have your apartments, you still have your previous customers, but reviews are really important, right? Imagine what happens if tomorrow your thousand reviews are gone. You will see this as a tragedy, right? And that will be a tragedy. You should start over from zero. That's really hard, you know, right? So reviews are important, but here's the bad thing. Those reviews do not really belong to you. They are attached to your profile, which is attached to a platform which you don't control. And the reason you probably didn't think about it a lot is because there's no alternative, right? Yeah, okay, I know, Airbnb, uh, my reviews are on Airbnb, my reviews are on Booking, why are we even talking? I know, there's no way that, you know, I could take screenshots of them, but I could copy them and put them on my website. I know, but I don't do that because they don't have value. Once you take away, take them away from your website, from, from sorry, the portals, they lose value, right? Because we trust those reviews when they are on the platform, when they are on Airbnb, I know they are real. When they are on Booking, I know they are real. I can't just take them away and build them, you know, put them somewhere else. So you know that the reviews could be gone tomorrow. You know that your account could be closed tomorrow. You know that you could stop getting bookings for any reason. And you just hope doesn't, it doesn't happen. The chances are kind of low in the short term. And the longer term you go the higher the risk. What's going to be in 20 years? Is Airbnb still going to be around? So what's going to happen to your reviews? Uh, maybe the booking will stop doing apartments. Who knows, right? So in the long term, this risk becomes high. But okay, let's say it's not a high risk. But let's say that there's a way today to back up your reviews. Okay, to say, okay, whatever happens to Airbnb or booking, I still have my reviews. Wouldn't that be great that if you could kind of restart over, but don't lose your reviews? Well, this is actually possible. When we open a platform on the blockchain and the reviews start coming in from day one, from the first review, they do not belong to trips. They belong to the blockchain. They are no, they don't belong to the blockchain. They are on the blockchain and you are the only person in the world who can control them, basically meaning he, nobody can cancel them. Okay. You and the guest, the people who write the reviews are the ones who can delete them and nobody else. So unless all the guests you had in the past decide that you are a bad person and want to delete the reviews, you're going to keep these reviews and your risk is distributed out of a thousand different customers. Okay. I will go even farther. Theoretically, it's possible to take all the reviews on the OTAs and back them up on the blockchain because, well, who owns them really? Uh, is it the OTA? Is it the guest? Is it you? You can go and read the terms and conditions, but still it, from, let's say, a logical point of view that should belong to the people who, who wrote them. 
So we could theoretically think about getting these reviews and putting them on, on the blockchain just for, you know, say that's a backup uh, in case the OTAs go, you still have them. But this is just a theoretical point. Let's just think about the new reviews you're going to get from, from blockchain customers. They belong to you. So let's go five or 10 years from now where you have a thousand reviews on the OTAs and 500 on the blockchain. The ones on the OTAs are at risk. The ones on the blockchain are not at risk. And you can reuse these reviews over every single app, every single booking platform which comes to life. They are visible on all of them because, again, they are not connected to a single listing site. They are not connected to trips. So you say you get 100 bookings in trips and 70 reviews. Those same reviews, you can reuse them on every new trips coming out, new uh, similar platform or vertical, which is catering to only families or only people with animals or anybody, right? So it's a different be difference between building on sand or on rock, basically. All right. So having an alternative platform on the blockchain makes sense because it guarantees your assets. Let's say that you have a thousand reviews in Airbnb and you want to sell your business. Can you do that? Uh, is your buyer sure that this listing won't be closed because it's been transferred? These are questions. Um, how, how the value of your asset is, is you know, in, depends on this question because it's not sure. There's again, no really rule of law. While if you have the same business in the blockchain and you want to sell it, you sell it. You just have to give them your profile. And this is connected to a public key. It's not even connected to a name. It's connected to your own name, but then you can change it, right? So I'm getting a bit too technical here, but just to keep it simple, whatever you build on the blockchain is built on rock, whatever you build on OTAs is built on sand, right? So which, uh, which way shall we go? Let's see. Bye.